Hey everybody, it's Mr. G with another exciting tutorial on Pivot, the stick figure animator. Okay, on this today's uh, episode, whatever you want to call it, we are going to show how to add a background to make this more exciting. Now there's a lot of ways that you can add a background. We're going to go with, we're going to start off with like just the simplest way ever. We're just going to find a background. Now I have some pictures on my webpage. You can do this with any image. I'm going to right click and I'm going to save this image as or uh, if I want it to be a particular size, we'll deal with that later. I'm gonna save the image as um, a, uh, let's see here. Oh, you can't see that. I'm gonna save it on my desktop and I'm gonna call this uh, background. I'm gonna go with a really complicated title here. Background, okay? It's gonna save it and it's going to appear on my desktop and there it is right there, background. Okay, we've got it, we saved it, booyah. Let's get back to Pivot. Bam. Okay, now we're back in Pivot, and we're gonna import. Go to File, Load Background. And now I'm gonna go to the desktop, and there's my file called Background, and I say Open. And it asks you a question. Would you like to set the animation dimensions to the dimensions of the image? Why? Yes, I would. I would like that. Yes. And there we go. I now have my image, and uh, it's, it's even bigger than the screen. I will uh, just pull that out so you can see it. Now I have a really cool background to uh, animate my figure and I think the first thing I'm going to do is uh, make him a color that's easy to see and I'm going to pose him into a uh, Hiya! karate pose. Maybe fist out. There we go. And add frame. Play. There you go. There's how you add a background. Now Pausing there, that's the super simple, easy way to do it. Now, if you want to resize this picture and make it a different size and uh, get it in, then you're gonna then you're gonna work with Paint.net. So let's say that we have a project where we're working with a team of other people and everyone's trying to make different parts of a, a larger animation or a movie, okay? You, you need to decide on a size that you're all going to use. So for today's example, let's just say that our movie is gonna be at, um, 750 by 600 okay so um, I'm gonna need to open up paint.net and I'm gonna get my picture and um, I'm going to need to resize it so that it fits those dimensions what did I say 700 and 750 by 6 to oh whatever okay I want to re say that uh, 700 by 625 okay so I have my image I brought it in I want to use it as background I'm gonna go into image resize and I'm gonna resize it to 700 by 625 now if you have the check maintain aspect ratio button on when you type 600 you'll notice that the bottom number changes so that it is proportional and it keeps the uh, object from say squishing I'm gonna undo that I'm gonna do it again image resize now I want to do it my size so I'm gonna set 725 by 600 we'll just say that's our size and I'm gonna say okay there you go. Now it's more of a square. Now this can look really cool, and if no one's seen the picture before or familiar with it, it doesn't matter. It will matter if you are all working on the same project and everyone has different sizes. Okay, so it's going to depend on the image you use. You can create your own image in Paint.net, draw your own image, and then all that needs to matter is that it's either a JPEG or a PNG. I think there are a few other file types that you can use, and if you want to find out more, you can go into Pivot and uh, save it. But I'm going to save this picture, save as. In, in my classroom, you would actually save it to your H drive. You have a drive that you save to, okay? And I just created some folders. For that, we created a special folder called Pivot. I suggest staying organized when you're working on your project. Create folders, save everything within that folder. And I'm gonna call this background. It's a JPEG, I can see right here. I got JPEG or PNG, doesn't matter which one. Save. I'm gonna say okay. And now, I'm gonna go to Pivot. And I'm gonna go to File. I'm going to start a new one. Do I save current project? Nope. File, load background. And in this case, I think I just saved it into my H drive and pivot. And there it is, background. Open. Yes, set the dimensions of the animation to the background. And you can see that it fits and it looks, it's the exact size. And to see the size, you can go to edit options. If you go to edit options, you'll see there's the animation dimensions. And I can change that if I want, but I think if I put, let's say 800 here, okay, you're gonna see that now there's a, a white space over here because I just added an extra 
75 pixels to the animation so it's wider but it is not going to stretch the picture you have to do the picture stretching on your own either in another program or Photoshop or paint or paint.net paint is a great free program that comes with uh, Windows and you could just do it in there um, if you have a Mac I don't know what the free, I don't know if there's a free image editor but I think you could actually resize it in the um, whatever the program is that you open the file. In fact, if you want to post or email me uh, what a good program for Mac is, and I use Mac, but I use Photoshop on my Mac, um, let me know in, in the comments. And anyway, there you go. There's our quick tutorial on how to insert a background. There's the short version and the long version. Have a great day. This is Mr. G signing off.